Alecco, great spending a couple of minutes with you. Um, talk a little bit about training and where things are right now. And, you know, it's been hot the past few days. So how does that affect uh, training and preparation? Uh, it affects a little bit. You know, we just moved the uh, start time of training a little bit earlier so that we kind of missed the brunt of the heat. But uh, in terms of what we're doing, it hasn't changed at all. You know, we, we've stayed the course and guys are working uh, extremely hard. And uh, it's... It's been a very good progression uh, starting from, I think, six weeks ago to where we are today. Uh, a lot of new faces coming and going, um, but that's that's part of preseason of guys having to earn their spot and prove themselves, and we're very, very happy with the group and the direction we're headed. Right now, all your experience in MLS, I mean, is that is that pretty common where, you know, preseason, you're, you know, you're looking at different guys, giving guys a shot? Absolutely, but more so with us just because we're starting from scratch, right. you know, uh, so we're, we're building a team from, from nothing, basically. Uh, whereas, you know, typical MLS preseason per se or any other team really, uh, you have a base and, and, you know, there's a couple guys fighting for spots and you're bringing new faces in. But um, with us, it, we've st- kind of started with a clean slate, which is refreshing. Right. Uh, there's not anyone that, you know, we, you know, have a guaranteed contract that we wish, he, you know, he would get injured or go away somewhere and you're trying to get rid of him or anything like that. Right. Uh, so it's, it's a breath of fresh air to bring guys in and and have them compete and earn a spot and, and uh, work towards the same common goal. That's awesome. And, you know, obviously one of the challenges is, or one of the questions I think from a lot of fans is sort of a quality or level of play, right? So everyone's familiar with MLS. I mean, you've been in a number of MLS camps, uh, an MVP of MLS. You know, how do you feel about the, the product that's on the field and, and where they stand right now? I uh, feel great about it. Yeah. You know, the guys uh, are looking very sharp. Um, you know, with that said, there's still there's still work to do, and there's always room to get better. Um, and and we, we're still actively looking for a couple pieces to, to add on to what we already have. But in terms of a, a base, I'm, I'm extremely happy with uh, how the guys are looking, how they've responded. Um, we have a very good mix between young guys, old guys, which is super important when you're putting a team together. Um, right. you got to have guys that are have kind of been through it and, and can provide leadership and experience. And then you need some young guys that are, that are hungry to prove themselves and make a name for themselves. And right now we have a, a very good mix of guys, and I think, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll look to add two, three more uh, quality players that will, uh, you know, raise the level of the final product. That's great. And, and that's not uncommon, right? I mean, whatever team you're on, whether you're playing or coaching, there always seems to be looking for that one or two pieces that could really just change the dynamic of the team. That's of course. On. Whether you're in preseason, in the middle of the season, whatever it is, you're always looking for, for those uh, one or two special guys. Right. Let's talk a little bit about the trip to England. You know, what are some of the expectations? Now, you have two, two clubs. One's a uh, sort of a uh, third division team, and then one's a first division team. Um, you know, what are the expectations coming out of that, and, and why the trip to England? sort of, I guess that would be a question. Yeah, I mean, the, the goal is pretty simple. I mean, for one, you know, it, it's always good to have a change of scenery, uh, get, get guys out of their comfort zone a little bit. Nice. Um, you know, after a while of training in the same place, playing against the same people, you get tired of kicking the same guy over <laughs> and over again um, on the same field. So uh, it's great to kind of get away from it all. Um, it, it, you know, there's so many elements of why it's beneficial to get out of the country uh, as a team, whether it's team bonding, playing different opponents, exposing to a new style of play. Uh, all that stuff, you know, goes into it, which is great that we were able to set this up. Um, but again, you know, we're going we're gonna to work towards the same things, which is to get prepared for August 3rd. Right. Um, so we'll, we'll get a couple of quality games down there, which we, we probably are not able to get here at the moment because different teams are, are you know, in the middle of their seasons and right. all that. Um, so, so it'll be good to, to get some quality games in and, and see how these guys adapt. Great answer. Um, so here's a, here's a good twist. So you're a midfielder. Gio's a striker. What's the uh, philosophy of the team? Will it be a defensive-minded or will it be an offensive-minded kind of uh, team? Both, both. You know, I mean, I've always been very much an offensive player uh, my whole life. Um, but obviously with Carlos, who, who's a World Cup defender, Gio is a striker, and Memo is a goalie. So uh, we, we kind of cover all our bases. You know, if we if we had to play a, a 4v4 tournament, I, I would like our chances uh, against any coaching staff in, in the world. But, um, but uh, no, it, it's funny because... You know, even though I'm, I'm very attacking minded as a player, it's, it's funny how I sometimes gravitate towards the defensive side of things when I'm watching a game. Or same with Gio, and you know, Carlos uh, is a defensive guy, but he'll you know, he'll you know, 
sometimes be more offensive minded than the Jew or not. That's interesting, so right? It's, it's very interesting how, how it all works. But um, at the end of the day, we, we want to play both sides. You know, both sides of the ball equally and attack with numbers, defend with numbers, and, and really uh, make sure it's a, it's a complete, committed group effort. Awesome, awesome.